Welcome back. Well, we are just shy of one year yeah. until the 2020 Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo. Can you believe it? <laughs> and we're very excited today to have 15-time world champion and five-time U.S. Olympic gold yeah. medalist Katie Ledecky <laughs> joining us to talk about her training and recovery secrets as she begins the journey back to the world's biggest sporting stage. Katie, thank you so much for being with us today. Hey, Katie, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> now, you've just finished competing in one of your biggest competitions of the year, the world champions in Korea. Tell us, how did everything go? It went pretty well. I had a little bit of a rough patch where I, I got a little sick and had to pull out of two events, but was able to come back with a gold and two silvers. So I'm, I'm really happy with how I was able to build up the strength and, and be able to finish on a pretty good note. Awesome. Now we know that you're already thinking ahead to 2020, of course, because you're a gold medal winner and a record holder. That's amazing. Congratulations yeah. on that. What is it like preparing for the largest competition, uh, sporting competition in the world? It's really exciting. We're less than a year out from the Olympics. We have Olympic trials about a month before that in Omaha and just doing everything that I can to prepare for that. It's really heavy training, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of hours in the, in the water, but uh, it's also really important for me to do everything outside of the water to prepare myself the best I can. Yeah, for sure. Now you're also, you're the newest athlete to join the Built with Chocolate Milk roster. Fill us in, what's that all about? Yeah, so I've been drinking chocolate milk since I was about 12 years old, and so now we're really just making the partnership official. Chocolate milk has been such a great recovery drink for me over the years. After workouts, after races, has protein and carbs and natural electrolytes that really replenish me and get me ready for my next race. And that's really important for me as I'm trying to compete in a lot of different events over the course of the week to really get myself ready and, and prepared for the next one. Yeah, what are some of your other recovery tips that you use, Katie? Well, I'm, I'm a big believer in naps and I try to <laughs> nap between practices when I can and between races, it's important, as I said, to do everything I can outside of the water and I need to, need to get my rest and, and recovery and um, I'll be doing that over the next year. Yeah, for sure. And I know we've got a lot of young swimmers That's out right. there who would love to hear from you. What advice do you have for aspiring swimmers out there? Yeah, I'd, I'd encourage young swimmers to set some goals for themselves, whether they're small goals or big goals. I have big goals for myself for 2020, but when I was six years old and just getting into the sport, I never dreamed I would make it to the Olympics. But just with a lot of hard work and setting goals and Continuing to have fun in the sport, that's how I've gotten to the level that I'm at today. So I just encourage young swimmers to have some fun dreaming big. Awesome. Katie, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Where can we find more information about your Built With Milk campaign? Yeah, you can go to builtwithchocolatemilk.com to get more information about chocolate milk, the science behind chocolate milk as a, re a recovery drink, and to follow along all the exciting things we're going to be doing as a team. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You, Good Katie. luck. We'll definitely Good be luck. rooting for you and USA. watching out for you in USA. 2020. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thanks so much. Go yeah. USA.